Hey gang, it's Dr. Steve, and I am in front of what many believe to be the most wondrous building on earth, the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia, the Basilica of the Holy Family. But what's so amazing with this incredible building is that it's actually a blueprint for what we can expect to see in the future. The Sagrada Familia was designed by one of the great artists and architects, the Catalan Antoni Gaudi. Uh, Gaudi was a deeply devout Christian who poured 40 years of his life in this project. The last 10 years of his life was exclusive to the project. In fact, he actually lived inside the cathedral the entire time. He started the project in the year 1883, and if you can believe it, it's still under construction. You could actually see the cranes up there. It's considered the longest construction project in the world, spanning over a century. What's so fascinating is the overall cathedral is in the shape of a triangle. So it's got three facades, and the triangle is a symbol of the Trinity. And here, we're in the passion facade. Every single facade, each facade, features the three primary events of Christ's life, death, and resurrection. His birth, his death, and his resurrection. And this is the crucifixion facade. And as you can see, it has this extraordinary sinew-like, bone-like rib kind of structure to it. All throughout, when you look at this cathedral, it actually looks like trees shooting up into the sky. But when you come to the crucifixion facade, it's like the branches turn into bones and it becomes incredibly skeletal and very visceral as you're looking at Christ's passion and his suffering on the cross. Walking into the basilica, you're immediately overwhelmed by the breathtakingly beautiful play of space, light, and color. Gaudi designed this interior as if it were a huge garden forest. You'll note there are no straight lines. The columns rise up like Edenic trees with branches soaring up to and spreading across the sky, supporting the vaulted ceiling, representing heaven itself. The light pours down on worshipers from the celestial stained glass windows, creating an extraordinary blend of the divine and the earthly. The cathedral actually follows the sun in its course throughout the day. Notice the different colors of the stained glass windows. Those on the nativity facade, that's the east facade, the side of the rising of the sun, they feature shades of blue and cooler tones in keeping with the morning light. But in contrast, the west-facing windows on the other side, they're warmer with the red and orange tones of a sunset. These stained glass windows form part of the passion facade, the side of darkness. The tallest and thickest columns in the basilica are the four columns at its center, each representing the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which together herald the reuniting of heaven and earth in the coming of Christ. Hey gang, you've seen how much UFC fighters love President Trump and how much he loves them. They're both fighting for faith, family, and freedom. But did you know that our camaraderie goes way beyond just fighting against wokeness? We can actually get the exact same pain relief that the fighters in the UFC get precisely because a fellow patriot and good friend of this channel is the one who provides relief to that pain, and he's here to do the same for you. You know, we all know that as we age, aches and pains are normal, but you know, they don't have to be. And that's where the groundbreaking medical scientist Clint Winters comes in. Clint's a world-renowned health expert who's unveiled a natural pain reliever that is taking the world by storm. It's called Kano CB2. It is the 100% drug-free way to get full-body pain relief without dangerous meds. And it is the official pain reliever for the fighters in the UFC. So whatever you do, make sure to click on that link below and check out Clint's amazingly informative report on how Kano CB2 is changing lives by providing safe and powerful relief at a fraction of the cost of pain pills. Click on that link below right now. But perhaps the most stunning part of this most amazing building is how it actually replicates the future. You see, Gaudi Sagrada Familia is actually a wonderful example of what more and more scholars are calling archaeofuturism. It's the notion that the future is actually going to look more and more like the past. We live in the modern age today, and in the modern age, we put a massive chasm between technology and tradition, science and religion. 
That world is collapsing. That world is fading fast. We're finding that there's no way a secular society has the frames of reference to sustain itself eternally, as it were. And so, instead, what we're going to find, is this particularly from the scholar Guillaume Fai, we're going to find that more and more populations are going to reunite tradition with technology. They're going to take the technological advances of the modern world and unite them to the archi, to the logos, the ancient traditions that created civilizations in the first place. Again, it's pretty stunning, but in many ways, there are more cathedrals like this being built today than ever before in history, largely because of this archaeofuturist movement. So the amazing thing about Antony Gaudi is he didn't just give us perhaps the most amazing building in the world. He actually gave us a glimpse into the future, an archaeo future where tradition and technology come together for the flourishing of our humanity.